little bit quicker. But the next example is the exact same thing, ladies and gentlemen. To solve the zeros, we replace this with 0. Set everything equal to 0. Now, in reality, do we really care about this negative right now? No, I could divide that out, right? OK. Then I can set all of my factors equal to 0. Then I need to solve. Well, to undo squaring, I need to take the square root of both sides. So therefore, I have x minus 3 equals 0 and x plus 4 equals 0. Therefore, my solution set would be positive 3 and negative 4. Does everybody agree with me on that? Yes? OK. So I go to negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Positive 3, 1, 2, 3. OK, so those are my two zeros. Now, however, though, I need to go back and look at my multiplicity. Is the graph going to cross or is it going to bounce? To do that, we have to go back and look at the multiplicity of the linear factors. These are linear factors. Do you guys see how each of those factors are to the first power? Or each of the variables x is to the first power. Therefore, based on classification, we know they're linear, right? So the factors are linear. When the factors are linear, the multiplicity is the power of the factor. So in each of these cases, I have a multiplicity of 2, which is odd or even. Even. So since the multiplicity is even, that tells me that the graph bounces. Now it could either bounce up or bounce down. We don't know. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to represent both. I don't know if it bounces up or bounces down. I just know it bounces. I know it doesn't cross, like the last example. It bounces. So to determine what the M, so now what I need to do is determine the end behavior. Well, this one's a little bit more difficult here. Now let's, but let's kind of think about this. X minus 3 squared, right, is going to multiply out to give you what leading term? X squared. And that works for this one too, right? So in reality, I have 0 equals negative X squared dot 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 times X squared dot dot dot. And if you did an x squared times an x squared and multiplied everything out, the, high, the highest power would be 4, right? So your leading term would be x to the fourth. So in reality, we really have negative x to the fourth dot, 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 dot. So now we have x to the fourth, correct? So And our leading coefficient, though, is now a negative 1. So now we need to go back to our end behavior and say, OK, what happens when my degree is even? But my leading coefficient is negative. Now, what is the end behavior? Falls left, falls right. So the graph falls left and falls right. Is there a way for us to connect these two arrows by using these two zeros? Well, it has to go to the zero. It bounces, then needs to go over here, and then goes down. So does it ever use any bouncing up? No. So we can just erase that. OK? Any questions? OK. In this last example, in case somebody got to